see it? Yeah, probably not. Alright, so model 1150. Right, so we're looking at a model 1150. Which is right here. Right. And, and we have an, a, a motor that's approximately 1800 revolutions per minute. So if we put our belt on the highest uh, pulley position, 5300 revolutions per minute is what we're going to get at the spindle right here. Um, and if we set it, go down and set it on the lowest speed at the bottom of the stack, it's going to be 400 revolutions per minute. Now let's see what that looks like in, on the actual belt and pulley system. We open up this, this door. This, this part here is creatively called the belt and pulley guard. We open up the, guard, the door on the belt and pulley guard, and here is the belt and the pulleys. So, <clears throat> now we have set it to highest speed. Right. So on, on our, in our demonstration at the beginning, we have this on the highest speed, which is the, the largest pulley for the motor and the smallest pulley for the, for the spindle. And you can kind of think of this in terms of using your bicycle. If you set your uh, chain so that you're pedaling on the largest sprocket and the smallest sprocket is on your back wheel, that's when you get the greatest speed. You want the requires, highest gear on the bike. Right, the highest gear on the bike and requires the highest effort on your part. On the other hand, I'm going to switch it so that it's on the lower pulley. Okay, I've loosened this up. I can now change the position of the belt. I'm going to go all the way down here so we have the smallest pulley on the, on the motor and the largest pulley on the spindle. This would be like the lowest gear on your bicycle. Tighten this up again. And <clears throat> we should see a dramatic difference in how fast this is spinning. Even though the motor's going the same speed. Correct. Motor always runs at 1700 RPM or 1725. So we go down here. We remember what it said on the chart. It should be the spindle should now be spinning about 400 revolutions per minute. Let's take a look at that. I think that'd be that, much more appropriate for this kind of hole. Right. I think it should be very evident that this is going a lot slower than it was that first time when we started it up. So that's that's what the belt and pulley guard does for you. It's also, without getting into a long description, we're trading speed for torque. So when this is spinning at this slow speed, it's going to have a lot of twisting force and be able to drive this large cutter. Um, those higher speeds are more appropriate for much smaller bits in soft materials. We would also slow it down more depending on what we're trying to cut into. If it's a hard material, we need to go slower. Uh, a softer material, we can go faster without any problem. So in 10th grade, they might learn why they just don't slow the motor down. Oh, indeed. There's so many wonderful things to learn in 10th grade. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to steal that. Can't learn it all in one little uh, YouTube clip. There we go. Thank you for listening. We'll come back more for later.